what's going on YouTube in this video is going to be my reaction to the latest Pentax vision video where they talk about the APS-C flagship camera and uh, you know just give you my thoughts on uh, how I how I viewed the video um, now there were some Im some interesting and I think important revelations that were actually revealed in this video uh, for one when it was showcased behind the glass uh, months and months and months ago, uh, you know, it, it it appeared to be a fairly bulky camera. It looked like it had a lot of heft to it. However, upon closer inspection, having it right beside the KP, as you can see here, even uh, the photographer stated that this camera does not actually look like, I mean, it's just not as bulky as uh, it first appeared to be when it was showcased um you know i guess when uh i think it was the pentax 100 year anniversary party whatever showcase thing it looked like it was a larger camera but comparing it directly beside a kp it's not really much bigger if it even is bigger um so that that's an important thing uh the other thing too is uh you know they stated that the depth between the lens mount and the lcd panel uh, this model is actually slimmer than the KP, which, I mean, we're, I mean, that that's getting into pseudo mirrorless realm here, because if they can shorten that flange distance from the back of the camera, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like they're, they're really pushing the envelope here for DSLRs. At least that's my opinion. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, you guys are going to be watching and be like, oh, another fanboy thing. No, there are some negatives that I didn't really think we're all that important to really make a big deal about so they stated that they worked very hard to design a compact sturdy body for this new camera we all know that pentax's bodies are very rugged um but being able to condense everything inside with you know paying close attention to the careful packaging that's very important especially if you want to keep the body size smaller so they've been able to cram whatever extra technology that they're refusing to talk about into a smaller body with a more compact design from the mount to the LCD which is even slimmer than the KP which is already a very small camera but also keeping the ergonomics of the K357 series so that to me that that's a remarkable advancement um, and uh, over here they mentioned uh, the photographer mentioned that some of the buttons on the new camera seem to be larger uh, you know and Pentax had in the past ma made mention that they do design the cameras to also be used while wearing gloves so being able to reduce the size of the camera but keep the buttons tangible in regards to all kinds of different shooting situations to me is pretty important and it's actually impressive they were able to pull that off um, you know, and they also created a new uh, shutter unit, um, including uh, the mirror return, so it's a lot smoother in regards to that. Um, you know, and they used the same shutter button mechanism. I think they called it leaf uh, button uh, from the six four seven, sorry six four five, and uh, you know the K one. So the action on that button will be a lot smoother which is important to minimize camera shake because you don't have to jab down, you know, a very, very smooth movement. Um, now, a lot of people are like, oh, wow, they're going to, you know, silver camera, whoop-de-doo, silver lenses, whoop-de-doo. But, you know, yeah, you know, uh, back when Pentax was doing the 50 different colors and you could get polka dot streamer, LED flashing light, whatever, polka dot door kind of things you know I mean yeah that was way overboard however this color silver has been with Pentax for a very long time back in the film days you could even get the kit 2880 in silver that unique gray silver finish that Pentax is bringing back personally I wouldn't mind the silver camera I do it's just different you know and that's just me personally I like being different there's other people who feel that a camera should only be black and that's fine too um, you know but it seems it is a traditional color that Pentax has used in the past um, you know so I mean it's not 
that big a deal. I think they shouldn't have mentioned anything about it coming out in silver until the camera was released. And then people would freak out and whoever wanted silver could get silver. Whoever wanted black could get black. But at the end of the day, they are they're trying to release the silver edition alongside the black edition. Um, you know, so you can have your choice as to which color. But keep in mind, at least they're not doing the whole polka dot streamer, light effects, whatever, neon glowing Lego look kind of thing. You know, they're, they're, they're keeping it traditional, finally. Uh, you know, and they're going to be doing a silver DFA 21 millimeter lens as well. Um, and also keep in mind, the limited lenses, you know, they're black or silver. Uh, this is not a new thing. Um, you know, however, I don't think it was something that really needed to be announced in this video. I, I really don't. I mean, it doesn't change the internals of the camera itself, and that's what we want to know about. We want to know what is inside this camera, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, the anticipation is killing me, but at least, you know, they are looking at the entire situation in regards to pleasing the customer you know because nothing's worse than buying the black camera just to find out that the silver one you were hoping for can't comes out later you've already spent your money you know so it's nice to have that choice right off the hop once the camera's actually released i only think that's fair and you know i'm sorry i i, I think the silver does actually look very nice i think it, it, it i've i've always liked it i mean there's the prestige edition which is like a gunmetal color Personally, that's not really for me. Um, you know, I'm I don't care much for the gunmetal color. Might as well just get black. Um, you know, but the differentiation uh, with the contrast of the silver on the black with the dials, I do find that you know that speaks to me. I, I I like it. I like the way it looks. Now, in regards to the LCD, yes, I know my previous video I said it was going to be a flip screen. At least I was hoping it would be a flip screen. But it does not actually look at this point that it is a flip screen. It looks like it's going to just uh, be a fixed screen, which, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, so hopefully the performance of the camera is absolutely mind blowing to take away from the fact that it's not a flip screen or articulating screen or anything like that. Now, if you notice here on uh, the left side of the rear of the silver camera, you'll see that there's still an unlabeled button there. However, on the black camera, it has a lock button there. So it looks like they're still ironing out a few things here because these two different cameras have different button positions and different labeling for certain things. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to see later on down the road. Um, you know, and here they're, whoops, here they're just talking about the uh, launching the silver version alongside the black version. And, uh, you know, and there are some exterior designs that they still need to uh, be refined, which I'm pretty sure is going to be button placement and what those buttons are actually going to do. Uh, other than that, um, you know, they're also going to be releasing a silver K1 Mark II, you know, which is great, I guess. Um, you know, it's no different than what they did with the K1. Uh, you know, that's... But again, you know, th this is the old way of them looking at it. You know, they wait until later on to release the silver one. I think they really should have done it all at the same time. And here's, uh, you know, three of the silver lenses they're going to be releasing. And th this, this is nothing but classic Pentax. They've been doing this silver color for eons. You know what I mean? And it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like how, you know, you can always spot Canon L glass because it's white, right? Here is Pentax with silver. It's their thing. It's what they're known for. So I don't, I've seen other people talk about, you know, oh, you know, what, well, they're just going to paint it silver. Well, well th this is a tradition. It's something that Pentax has always done. So I don't really see why this would be an issue. But uh, in regards to the camera itself, I mean, I, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And, uh, you know, it is something that I've got my money saved up for. I'm just waiting and waiting and, um, you know, just, I was hoping for some specs in regards to this camera. I really was, uh, you know, I, I was hoping that they would mention something about the autofocus. Um, you know, I was hoping that, you know, instead of just saying that it's faster, uh, you know, I, I was hoping that they would at least say what the megapixel count was, you know, something, anything. Um, you know, they mentioned, I don't know if it's the translation, but they mentioned the technology in the optical viewfinder. 
they didn't say design they didn't say uh, refinement or anything they specifically said technology so it's still up in the air whether this is going to become a hybrid viewfinder or not um you know but we'll just have to wait and see but overall i mean this does look like an absolutely killer camera i the the design of it the the length of time that they've been working on it i mean they said they've been working on this pen to prism since before 2017 specifically for the new you know the, the new cameras and seeing as pen, it looks like pentax has finally found the direction they're going to go into they're going to sink their teeth in and they're going to go flat out um so yeah i mean that that's my take on the video i mean it was a lot more than just the camera itself there were still a lot of things in regards to what was driving them to create this specific type of camera which they've redone from the ground up it's not sharing things with any other camera that they've done so it does really look like pentax is taking this very seriously and they know that this camera has to be done with perfection they don't have a choice it's got to be right if it's not right then you know i mean it could very well be the demise of pentax in five years i mean you know we never saw the olympus thing coming um however at the same time we never really saw the kp coming either it was you know there was i think it was the k70 and then all of a sudden bam there's the kp we're like what pixel shift resolution and super ultra compact body three control dot what on earth is going on yeah they kept that one hush hush too so hopefully all the technology that's in this new uh 2020 aps-c flagship camera um, you no, know, hopefully it, it really does speak volumes in regards to the direction Pentax is going to go because they made an extremely bold claim. This claim is insane. That this APS-C camera is going to basically shatter the whole perception that APS-C cannot, get, cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with full frame in regards to image quality. This APS-C camera will match full frame image quality that is absolutely mind-blowingly bold <laughs> to make that claim so they have to get this camera right and that's pretty much my thoughts on this video and uh, if you like the video leave a like if you have not already please do subscribe it helps me out uh, if you'd like to support the channel i leave that information at the bottom of the description if you have any questions comments leave them down below and you guys will see me on my next video i'm out